What's up guys and 2020 things are starting to over. We have Galaxy Note 20 out for this world, Galaxy Z Fold 2 is out which is doing pretty well, Apple's special event has been done, Huawei is now out of the picture so what's next? Well yes Galaxy S21. So we have the mega camera leak and official stuff regarding the Samsung Galaxy S21 shows off how Samsung is making a huge leap in the camera department. Also how Samsung is hurting Qualcomm where they can but first the camera of the S21 Ultra has officially announced of course they didn't mention the Galaxy S21 exclusively but we do know that the camera sensor is the one that will be utilized on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Samsung has announced 4 new camera sensors and they have 0.7 micrometer pixel size making them 15% smaller than the one we have with the Galaxy S20 Ultra but at the same time making them slimmer as well so that Samsung can reduce the size of the camera bumps. So in order to make sure that we won't see any loss of image quality by decreasing the pixel size, Samsung is implementing brand new ISL Plus and smart ISO technologies that are optimized to take advantage of this 0.7 micrometer pixel size sensor. First sensor is the ISL HM208 megapixel sensor. This is the successor to the ISL HM1 we have seen on the Galaxy S20 and Note 20 Ultra. In addition to its 0.7 micrometer pixel size, there will be some massive gains when it comes to autofocus. And now the image sensor also have that upgrade so it would be even better than what we have seen with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And finally the most exciting thing is the ability to shoot 4K videos at 120 frames per second. This is the feature that is confirmed to be coming with the iPhone 12 Pro and not only this, iPhone 12 Pro also supports 4K videos at 240 frames per second. So it would be a nice addition that S21 Ultra will also get that higher frames. Then comes the ISL GW3 sensor, it's a 64 megapixel sensor, mostly used on the upper mid-range phones like Galaxy A52 or A72. And the exciting thing here is the ability to shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second. So your next Galaxy A52 or A72 devices will probably get 4K videos at 60 FPS option. Then comes ISL GM5 for 8 megapixel sensor. It's a folded lens or should I say periscope style sensor. Gives you 5x optical zoom and 4K 60 FPS video recording. It will probably be used on the Galaxy S21 Ultra along with some more which we're gonna take a look in a bit. Then last we have ISL GD1 sensor. This is actually the front camera sensor, smallest front camera sensor coming at 32 megapixel resolution that is designed specifically for hole punch devices or the devices with bezel-less display. So yeah, that's all on the camera sensors. Let's move towards the mega camera leak of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. As you see in the updated image sensor 108 megapixel HM2, but along with it, Samsung is going to get zoom capabilities very serious with next year's Samsung flagship. According to South Korean media, we'll see dual telephoto lenses with the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The first one is going to be a 3x telephoto lens, while the second one will give you a 5x optical zoom, very similar strategy as what Huawei did with their P40 Pro Plus. And we could see something like Huawei like up to 15 or 20x lossless zoom. Thanks to both dual telephoto lenses and upgraded image sensor, there will also be a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor and no TOS sensor, instead it might feature a laser autofocus module so you'll see blazing fast autofocus thanks to both upgraded sensor and laser autofocus module. As for the front camera, so the 40 megapixel is returning. Samsung did include the 40 megapixel sensor on the Galaxy S20 Ultra and removed it on the Note 20 Ultra and now it is returning back. Speaking of the front camera further, so yeah it is crucial at this point Samsung is testing under display camera tag but according to some famous leakers and display analysts it doesn't seem possible. Again we'll see that in a month or two so make sure to subscribe for that. Also how Samsung is hurting Qualcomm. Apparently the next Exynos 1000 chip will not be made exclusive to Samsung. In fact it will be offered to other manufacturers as well possibly at a cheaper price compared to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 875 chip, which means Samsung is finally entering into the semiconductor business. They are already in semiconductor business but now they are selling their chips to other manufacturers as well and possibly Xiaomi or OnePlus could get Exynos 1000 chipset in order to have that cheaper price. But again we'll see that next year. Also Samsung is the one that will manufacture all these Snapdragon 875 chips 
not TSMC. TSMC has already lost Huawei because of US and now Qualcomm as well. There is also rumor that Samsung will also manufacture the Snapdragon 875, 875G, 735, 735G and Snapdragon 400 series of processor with 5G. So Samsung is looking strong next year. Their Exynos 1000 will also see major improvements in CPU compared to the Exynos 990. So maybe brands would choose Exynos to make their phones affordable. So yeah guys, that's all on the Samsung news. Pretty big video I know but but let me know are you waiting for the Galaxy S21 Ultra and also do let me know have you subscribed this channel yet if not then why are you waiting please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.